Following the trend of re-releasing new versions of hot games with more content, sparked by best-selling franchises like Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil, and Ninja Gaiden, Capcom introduces Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening Special Edition, the newest entry into the PS2's greatest hits library. Special Edition is everything that made the original great and more. The level structure is the same, with the exception of a new boss character fans have seen, but not fought before. Welcome to but the most obvious and attractive addition is the ability to play as Dante's brother, Virgil. You could control Virgil briefly in the original game, but now you can take him through every level. Since Dante and Virgil are twins, Virgil wears a blue coat so you can tell the two apart. Virgil has the same upgradable weapons as Dante, the Yamato, the Force Edge, and the Beowulf, but he uses them with his unique Dark Slayer style. This fighting method, unlike those of his brother, utilizes all swords and no guns. But anyone longing for projectile attacks can use Virgil's Summon and Spiral Swords. These are sharp, glowing blue spears that Virgil can throw and spin with his mind. Virgil adds a decent amount of original combat, but he's not nearly as fun or as cool as his brother. His combat style makes him move a little slower, which doesn't help when you're being constantly assaulted by demons. Thankfully, Dante is still available for gamers who haven't played the game before or prefer his wilder and more aggressive fighting. The rest of the special edition bonuses seem to cater to those looking for more punishment, just in case their first trial through Devil May Cry 3 wasn't difficult enough. The revised version of Dante's Awakening has a new Very Hard mode, a new survival mode called Bloody Palace, and the ability to speed up the gameplay by 20%. This may seem like overkill, considering the original was tough enough for most gamers, but the challenging gameplay in Devil May Cry 3's first outing on the PS2 required you to completely master whatever style of combat you chose. That means those who beat the original on its highest difficulty setting may be longing for another excuse to test their skills. Now that Devil May Cry 3 is a greatest hit, it's available for around $20. So whether you're looking to play or replay one of the best PS2 games of the year, it'll cost you less than half of what it did nine months ago. But while the new special edition of Dante's Awakening is in most ways better than its predecessor, it's still only available on the PS2. When most franchises release the revised version of their game on a different platform. This might leave longtime DMC and PS2 fans wondering why all this content wasn't available to begin with and with the new character, it would have been nice to have a couple of new levels to go along with it. Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition is definitely the preferred purchase for anyone who hasn't played the first game, but those who have need to justify spending 20 bucks just to play as a different character on a higher difficulty set.